I want to show you how to create this merging effect using geometry nodes in Blender. For this example, I'm going to add a cube and a sphere and position them so they're overlapping each other. Then I'm going to add a plane with the geometry node modifier. Delete the group input and drag in the objects and select relative for both. Press Shift A and add a join geometry node and plug our objects into it. Then in between our join geometry and group output, we can add a points to volume node and a volume to mesh node. We can see here that the cube doesn't have enough points, so we'll go into edit mode and subdivide it, and hit shift R to repeat our last action a few times. Depending on how detailed your object is, you may need to increase the voxel amount or reduce the radius. Then at the end, you can add a set position node, a position node, and a blur attribute node. Make sure you change this from float to vector, then plug the position into the blur attribute and the blur attribute into the position socket. You can increase the iterations to smooth it out more. At the end, we can add a set shade smooth and a set material node. Then in the properties panel, we can create a new material and select it here. Next, we'll work on giving our objects different colors. So we'll go back to the beginning of our node tree and move these over to make some space. Add a store named attribute node, change it from float to color, and name it something like color1. If you're using the cycles renderer, you can't just name it color because that conflicts with another variable. Then we can duplicate it, and while holding shift, we can click to insert it here. Both of them should have the same name like color1. Then we can pick different colors like orange and blue here. Then after the set position node, Add another store named attribute node set to color and point with the same name, in this case color1. Then add a sample index node set to color and point, plug in the join geometry, and plug the sample index into the value of the store named attribute. Then we're going to need a sample nearest node. Make sure it's set to point, plug the join geometry into it, and the index into the index. Then we're going to need the named attribute node. Set the data type to color and select color one from the names and plug the attribute into the value. Next, we need to open up the shader editor and add an attribute node. Then type color one and plug the color into the base color. Now we should see the colors that we assigned earlier. Right now where the colors are meeting, it's looking harsh and jagged. So the next step is to blend them together with a smooth gradient. To do that, we'll go back to the geometry node editor and duplicate the last store named attribute node and place it right after it. Then we'll add a blur attribute node into the value and plug the color one attribute into the blur. And if we increase the iterations, it should blend the colors together. So now we have this effect where the objects are merging when they're close enough to each other. You can use this for animations or even modeling things as you can attach stuff together easily. So if you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more Blender videos in the future. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments.